Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett. And yes, this is another amazing edition of Wake Up With Trickett, guys, because we're all waking up here. Why not? Let's get out the darkness and shed some light, right? All the darkness so we can see clearly. And what we have here, guys, is an example of how life works for so many of us. And I got this download given to me, and I want to share it with you guys. You know, so... Um, here we go. So this is us guys right here. These are our desires right here that we want. They always seem so far away, right? Now, as we start to manifest, uh, um, manifest knowing that we're doing it, okay? Knowing, intentionally manifesting, because we all manifest but right here, we're going to be doing it intentionally, meaning that we know our thoughts create. We know that our words create. So we know that they have power. We're not just saying it, but we actually believe it. We're this, and we're this person right here. So these are our desires that are all right here. So as we start to manifest and spin, Basically, we're, we're, we're thinking positive, we're believing we have it, we're believing what we want is already ours. The Bible, the good book tells us that all we have to do is ask, believe, and we're supposed to leave like we already received it, knowing that physically we haven't in this 3D realm but we know in the 5D, in that spirit realm, in that invisible realm, in your imagination, where you thought about it at, we know it exists because we've seen it. So we had to see it somewhere. It was just in a different realm. So as we start to manifest and we're spinning here, we're drawing in our desires. Some are coming in faster, some are coming in slower. But we're drawing in our desires. They're coming in as we think positive, as we believe. As a man believes, let it be done unto him. As a man thinks, so is he. So whatever it is you want, you will become. These are your desires that you want. So as you start to put that in motion, they start to come towards you. Now, as your desire starts to come towards you, you can't physically see it, but you are working off of faith. You're believing. You're just believing, even though you don't see it, you have like that childlike faith, like a child. You tell them you're going to give them something on Friday, and even though it's Monday, they won't even try to figure out do you have the money. Even if they see you at home every day, they won't ask you, are they going to get it on Friday? They will wait patiently and when Friday comes, they are going to ask you for whatever you said, unless you have broken the trust and that bond with that child. And then they may not trust you and ask earlier. But in this case, as you're spinning, your desires are coming in. Now, when you start to doubt, when negative starts to come in, when you allow other outside forces to come into your life. When you allow the negative to come in, when you allow the negative chatter, people to talk in your ear that are not good for you, when you allow them to come into your life, when you allow negativity to crowd you and come into your life, when you allow the gossip and you allow um, the negative thinking that's being thought, put in your mind, and the negative images that are coming to you. When you allow all of this to come into your life, you're corrupt. You're starting to be corrupted. What happens, what was coming near and was close, now starts to get pushed back because you're spinning in an opposite direction. You're putting up resistance so you're putting walls up. 
you're putting up walls. And the more resistance, the more walls. So you start to push back all your desires further and further. Because, I'll pick that up, because you guys continue to push back with your negative thinking. And sometimes we commit suicide. Sometimes we fall overboard. Sometimes we hit rock bottom, just like that one right there. Not everybody has the same story, but everybody has the same story when it comes to manifesting. Negative thoughts, when you start spinning in the opposite direction, everything starts to go further away from you. And when you have those blocks now in front of you, you see nothing. You are now blind. This is you spinning backwards, pissed off. It's not coming. Everybody else is getting, and I'm not getting anything. Why this? Why that? Why are you so angry at me? What have I done to you? There's worse people in the world than me. And blah, blah, this, and blah, blah, that, and wah, 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 wah. And you're constantly spinning backwards, and you don't see anything. You don't see your desires that you had. You don't, dis you don't see them no more. You don't see them only because you've put up so much resistance, people, that you feel you're just in darkness now, which in a way, you kind of are. Because with these barriers, these blocks that you have put up, you don't see any hope of getting out, of anything getting better, of your life improving. You don't see any hope because you have these blocks and these barriers up. I mean, like, for real? So you forget all about your desires that were out here and the one that hit rock bottom, the one you just totally forgot about, you just totally forgot about that desire. It's not even on the table no more, guys. It's not even on the table no more because you totally forgot about that, that desire right there. So now you're down to these three desires and now these are so far faded in your memory because you put so many different blocks of negative thinking, unforgiveness and everything that you got so many walls up here, so many walls up here. And so all you see is darkness no hope, despair, all you see is walls. You need a miracle in a case like this. You need a breakthrough in a case like this. You need some spiritual cleansing in a case like this. You need some quiet time. You need to use this wall, this mental prison that you built for yourself due to your own bad decisions that you willfully made, what you need to do is use this wall as a cocoon and instead of letting the prison time do you, you need to start doing the prison time. Period. You're the stronger one. And as you start to think clearer, instead of going backwards, you start to slowly, it's slow movements, it's not fast, because you've been spinning backwards for a minute. So you gotta start doing some cleansing, some shadow work, some, some getting rid of all the toxicity and all the negativity that you picked up along the way and negative thoughts and the doubt and the fear and all of that stuff. And as you start to get rid of it, you start to pick up momentum, guys. You start to pick up momentum again. And guess what happens? You start to bring in your desires. They start coming in again. They all start coming in back to you. They remember you. They didn't forget. They were always yours. They were always yours. They were just on hold because you were on hold. You put them on layaway when you decided to spin backwards and pick up negative habits. 
Now guys, so anyway guys, sorry about that, but look guys, so look, when your momentum's going good and, you, and you're spinning on that high vibrational disc and you got all those good thoughts and all those good positive thoughts going and things that used to get you pissed off are not getting you pissed off and things that used to get you frustrated are not getting you frustrated, you continue, you have made up your mind to be a positive force, to be love and light. You have made up your mind to spin forward, to continue to go forward, to not go backward, to not look back. You continue to spin forward. And when you do, guess what happens? These desires all started to come in, right? But remember the one that you just totally forgot about? It's back. Even it came back. Even your memory that lost hope on this dream, on this desire, and it was taken away. You were, you were at your lowest point. Like that'll never happen in my life. But when you get your mind right and start spinning in the right direction, in a positive direction, in a direction that you started to believe in yourself, you didn't doubt yourself, but you believe in the things that you said. And as a man thinks, let it be done unto him. So these things that you desire are now coming closer to you. And the one that you forgot about has also teamed up and joined up with the rest of your desires. And as you keep spinning, they keep coming and keep coming. And guess what? You have your desires. You have your desires. They are with you in the physical 3D realm right here. Because you manifested them, knowing you manifested them, knowing that your words and your thoughts carry great power. And couple that with belief, you are unstoppable. That equals out to God power. Your belief, without doubt, for anything you want equals out to God power. Now use for positivity, God power. Nothing but good things coming back to you. Nothing but good karma coming back to you. That same power used for darkness, black magic, any of that just low vibrational stuff, and then Bad karma is going to come back to you. And no matter what you do, you're not going to get rid of it until your time is served. So guys, get in your high vibrational disc. Get in your, stay in that high vibrational state of thinking. It doesn't matter if you were spinning backwards and pushed all your desires away. It doesn't matter. Stop. And even if you're moving slowly and everything is barely creeping back, you know what I know? Those walls that were here, as you start to spin, because remember, you didn't see any of them no more. Because you had them walls. But instead of letting the prison time do you and crush you from bad decisions and everything and just make you feel hopeless, you knew that you didn't have to be hopeless. You knew that you were strong. You knew that you didn't have to stay stuck. And so as you started to vibrate in the right direction and to believe and to become love and light and show love, because people don't understand that God is love and love is God. But if you let religion into it, then they want you to go down their protocol based off of their understanding and everything gets all messed up. You got to do what works for you. What works for you. You got to do where your conviction lies at, what you believe in. So when you start to believe in yourself, those walls that you had, they start to be released. So say you had all these walls right here. As you start to spin right, they start to, they start to do that number. And you know what happens? You start to see what you couldn't see no more. You start to see what you couldn't see no more. You start to see, oh snap, there it is, my dream, my goal, what I wanted to do. 
what I thought I wasn't going to ever be able to do, I see it again. I see it again over here. I see it again over here. And the one that I just totally gave up on, it's back. And because I spun in the right direction, because I did what was right, all my desires came to me. And once you do this, you always know how to do it. And so you can constantly keep repeating it for the things that you want in your life. Because now you know that you've done it. And you did it willfully knowing that you've done it. And with that being said, guys, it's just a quick tip that came to me right now. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. <clears throat> I hope it helps somebody out there. I think you guys are all amazing. As you know, I salute the greatness in the divinity. And all of you, you guys are all amazing, whether you know it or not. And uh, you guys have an amazing night. It is Turnaround Tuesday. So whatever you're dealing with, turn that junk around. And uh, let's get your desires brought to you instead of pushing them away. All right? Deuces. Peace.